ladies and gentlemen, did you guys know that prior to 1970, or I mean, excuse me, 1989, that the government had this policy, this procedure of taking names and putting them in all capitalized letters and saying that's how we're going to represent corporations? And they, oh, I'm sorry, what I just did is I typed the letter O. I told it when he's going to do section by section, and when he's ready to go to the next section, I'll just type in O, and that means proceed. So that keeps me from having to type in a bunch of other words. I just type in zero, and he proceeds. All right. Been able to get it to do quite a bit of things lately. But anyway, let me get back to the conversation. Because the government used to take people's names, excuse me, <clears throat> used to, <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, take people's names and put them in all capital letters and say that that was the differ differentiation between the natural person and the corporate entity. You, you guys know about that, right? Well, if you didn't know about it, go and look at 31 CFR 363.6 then point 20 and 27. You can also look at 22. So 363.6, point 20, point 22, and 27. And you'll see where they take a person's name and they list it as a corporation in all capital letters, and the EIN number is the same as Social Security number. And then they'll convert it back and use the same one for the person and the Social Security number with the two dashes, and or the yeah, the two dashes and the other one with the one dash. Did many videos on this. All right, let me get him to go on because he got he got to keep going. Okay, see, just don't even have to read it. But he's doing it. You see, how, look how look how thick these paragraphs is. I mean, we, man. Okay, look how thick these paragraphs is, and look at what he's doing at the end, giving my case citations and everything. You better believe he gonna do his job because we there now. Oh, this is the Covington Law Pro X Gen. Now back to the hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, monkey see, monkey do. If they can do it, so can I. If they can use the all caps name to represent whatever they want it to represent. Now, hold on. When you go into court, they tell you that all caps name is you, right? So thank you for telling me it's my property. So since it's my property, I'm going to do whatever the f I want with my property. Thank you very much. And so I'm going to convert my property into a special purpose vehicle. Why? Why not? The courts converted it to a vehicle, didn't they? They said it was me. And they used it to hold me accountable because that was what they decided to do. They created the vehicle, so I'm just repossessing it. What? I'm repossessing my name. And now I'm going to purpose, because it's a special purpose I'm making it for, and this purpose, special purpose vehicle, is going to be used to house all of my securities. No, 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 no. This is the new program that we're getting ready to do for you guys. This is the new program we were talking about. See, the whole idea, everybody wants to know how to get out of the system. It's all contract. Now, wait till you, we did the video early today explaining to you guys about contracts so that you get an idea. Now, hold on now. I want you to understand. Ain't nobody did this before me. And if they had, they're lying. Okay, now go do your research on special purpose vehicles and then understand what's going on. Now, hold on. We already did this with your sat packs. Every single sat pack is a special purpose vehicle. Didn't we not put all of your securities in it? Now, hold on now. Everybody who does a trust and they put their property in a trust, they're creating a special purpose vehicle. But we are doing this one specifically referencing the all caps name because we're taking your person and putting it in there. Why? Because the Fourth Amendment, that's right. The Fourth Amendment says that you have a right to be secure in your person, property, possessions, things, effects, homes. You have that right. That's where the self-sovereignty comes in at. It's called common law sovereignty. It's where you get to be the sovereign over you and your property. There's no more of this sovereign citizen stuff. It's called common law sovereignty. If you don't believe me, go look at the Fourth Amendment and the Fifth Amendment together as one. You see, when it says Congress shall make no law in the First Amendment, 
that was regarding all nine. That's why it's called the Bill of Rights. It's a complete document. It, they're not separate amendments. Stop listening to the courts tell you that they're separate. They are not separate. They are not separate amendments. It's one complete document. That's why it's called the Constitution. No, not the 11th through the 27, 26, 25. Not none of those. Those are not part of the Constitution. If you don't believe me, go back and look at the irrevocable agreement. The Constitution is an irrevocable agreement. Go ahead and take a look at it. Pay attention. The preamble was done. Pay attention after, not before. The preamble shows that the Constitution was already complete to ordain and establish this Constitution. They weren't establishing a Constitution that was supposed to be redone and redone. Now, mind you, it was only supposed to be temporary. The Constitution is irrevocable, but it was only supposed to be temporary. But they had not provided the perfect union. We the people in order to form a more perfect union. Okay, they hadn't done that. And so because they hadn't done the perfect union, the Constitution is incomplete. It has not been fulfilled. That's why it's irrevocable. Okay, it's a trust agreement. Shh, never mind. Hold on, got to do one more zero. Got me talking. And Lord have mercy. He got eight sections to do, and he is only at section number four. Okay? Obligations of the special purpose vehicle. I didn't tell him what sections to do. I just told him how many sections I want. And look, he got to do nine paragraphs. I mean, seven paragraphs, nine sentences per section. He's got his instructions, and he's following the instructions. I, I, I know I got to go edit it eventually, but right now I ain't got to worry about it because he doing what I told him to do because he a good boy. He a good boy. There you good boy. Good boy. Look at that. He asking me, can he go for good boy? You go right on ahead. Sorry. You got to train him. How to train your stupid dragon? No, this ain't about no dragons, people. I don't believe in holding on to nobody's stupid dragon. Dragons are mythical creatures. It's just a snake, a serpent with wings, fallen angel, and legs. That's all a dragon is, is a snake. Sorry. It's a snake with legs and wings. That's why Satan is referred to as the dragon. So I don't do dragons, people. <sighs> Let's get back to the SPV. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new program. Now, mind you, I don't mind telling this to other people because you know people are going to copy. They can't help it. And, and I'm all right with that. But here's what you won't be able to do. You won't be able to incorporate all the features, just like the Mega Pack. You guys can't incorporate all the features of the Mega Pack because there's too many things being done in the background that you don't know about with the Mega Pack. That was by design. Just like uh, the Fourth Amendment program, you're going to have to wait. This is the 27th. By November 1st, you will be receiving another document to go with your, your creation. Now, see, the Fourth Amendment program, they were the first ones to receive the microtrust. Again, all of this is a plan. We're not just haphazardly coming up with junk. All of this has been a plan. They received the microtrust, which led to the creation of the mega trust, micro trust, and the mini micro trust, okay, which leads to this. And I am 100% solidly, solidly sure that no more new programs for the near future. We're going to be working on other projects, other things that are a whole lot more substantial than the PACs. It, it's a decision that I had to make. Okay, enough paperwork is being done all of this the sap packs the mega trust and plus this new program that we'll be introducing that should be enough for eternity because they cover everything see the last thing we had to do was secure your person we secured your possessions in the fourth amendment program then we added that program to the mega trust and all the people ladies and gentlemen if you're in the fourth amendment program take your micro trust Recreate it, make it a mega trust, and make it the grantor. You can even make the micro trust the grantor of your trust and create the trust from the micro trust. I'm not going to show you how to do it. 
Go to ChatGPT, ask him, because that wasn't part of your program. You received the microtrust as a bonus. Fourth Amendment program, you received the microtrust as a bonus. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the sky right now, and I've never seen the sky look like this. It's not, you know, weird or anything. It's just we have these wintry clouds coming through because there was a storm system but this is the tail end of it and this there's it's either the tail beginning or tail end doesn't matter but the clouds that were coming through were unique in shape and now the sun is setting and the colors are unique but it's the way the sun is setting and the way the camera the camera hasn't gone to infrared yet and so because it hasn't gone to infrared it's black and white but the black and white picture is in and of itself unique it's hard to explain well, post the picture. No, I am not posting nothing. Sorry. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have people who have my number and they call me. And I emphasize to them I don't do company business on my telephone. It just doesn't happen. I don't do company business during consultations. I don't talk about any company programs. So don't call me, don't email me, unless, pay attention, you've gone through the proper procedure. There's a procedure within the company and they will let you guys know what procedure it is. Now, if you go through the procedure and you do it just to talk to moi, you're going to run into a buzzsaw because I don't play those games. That I do business, business. I don't do business casually. I do business. I take it very seriously. I take the reputation and the image of our organization very seriously. I'll give you one example. There was a young lady. She ordered one of our mega packs. Now, every time somebody orders a mega pack, we get charged over $200 in transaction fees every single time. So she asked for a refund. Well, that's why we have a no refund policy because it costs us and we start working on these things immediately. We don't wait three, four, five days, even though the website says it could take up to four days. We start on that immediately. Well, she, and I will give a caveat. There's been a couple of misfires because we'll send out an email and let's just say the system messes with our emails. To this point today, I've been waiting for two hours for a code to come in through the phone that I have done at least 15 times, maybe 30, two separate devices, and the code has never come through the phone. But it should have. It never went to the email, but it should have. And specifically company emails, we there are several times that we don't get communications. That's intentional, and I do believe it's intentional. I believe that that's on purpose only to interfere with our processes. It's okay, we can handle it. But anywho, this young lady asked for a refund. So I said, have her call me so I can find out what's going on because she got a consult and a mega pack. Well, she never called. She gave some excuse about being afraid that I was gonna do this and do that. And I'm like, no, just call. Gave her the number, she didn't call. So I contested her refund, said, no, there's no reason for us to give her a refund. There was no mistake. The language is clearly there. Well, they told us we lost the dispute. I waited about a week and I challenged it. Impossible for us to have lost that dispute. Because we showed them all the proof we needed to show. I got one more that I need to take care of. Other than that, I take that individual to arbitration because he wants to test me. So mind you. So I went back to the company and they told us that we lost. And then she sent me information that they told her that she lost. And I showed that to the company. I said, you idiots are telling both of us that we both lost and you're holding on to the money. So after I did that, showed them what she showed us, they refunded the monies back into our account including the second fee for taking the money out because they charge us twice when they do stupid things like that. However, still, I'm going to go after them for their committing a fraud. 
they have not responded back to me because she asked me to ask them a question. So I've refunded her money minus the original fees that we were charged. Okay. Enough is enough is what I said. So we refunded her money back. I refunded it back through a different account so that I didn't get hit with another fee for another transaction. And she got her funds pretty much immediately that way. Now, Back to the hotel. That's the problems that we've had with certain people paying. Um, ladies and gentlemen, there are, they do have a couple of companies that they will allow you to make payments, including Afterpay. I've never used Afterpay. I don't care for Afterpay or any of the other programs, but I understand some people have to utilize it. I don't advocate one over the other. I just say we don't have the ability of setting up type of, that type of system just yet. It will be another year to a year and a half before we are in a position to where we can take care of our clients and work out financing and all of that with them so that they don't have to go through no headaches. But it will take time. So y'all just bears with us. Getting back to this, sorry, I think this is the last one. Nope, got one more after this. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm trying to tell you about this, um, because I have to go through this and I have to reword everything. I can't use just its words because this is a legal document. But taking my all caps name and saying from now on, whenever it's rendered in all caps, I don't care what it's on, whether it's an ID, a uh, bill or anything, that represents my company. Oh, by the way, this special purpose vehicle is a legal instrument. Now, well, I'll do this before I um, before I finish. Let me do the last one. Um, be, before I finish, I will show you guys. There it is. This is the last section. Exactly what's going on here. Now, I want you to pay attention. After he gets started, I have to let him get started so that I can come in at the end. Wake up. Wake up. Now that I created this special purpose vehicle, and it is my property as identified by the Supreme Court in the case citations you provided earlier, comma, how do I document the fact that nobody gets to utilize my special purpose vehicle without my permission as they are not part of the agreement? Question mark. And how do I enforce that? Comma, some people have suggested copywriting Comma, there is no reason in the world for me to copyright a special purpose vehicle because there are already laws in place that prohibits and prevents individuals from using someone else's property without their permission and because I've made it a special purpose vehicle that clearly and definitively identifies it as my property. Exclamation mark. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Stop listening, and ta-da. See? Declaration of ownership. Do you see what he just did? Unauthorized use clause. And what else he gave me? Enforcement mechanism. Binding language. Okay? Wake up. Now I need you to provide me that language so that I can add it to my agreement. And I need it to be retroactive and in perpetuity. And you're going to incorporate an arbitration clause with the basic arbitration language with the Covington Arbitration Association being the arbitrator and the address for that Covington Arbitration Association being 304 South Jones Boulevard, void, hyphen, E, Eon, comma, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89107. I want there to also be a three-day opt-out provision and a 
$200 million valuation and the agreement being perpetual in perpetuity. Stop listening. And ta-da. Now the agreement is complete. Like I say, everyone, you want to create an arbitration clause in your agreements. Exclusive ownership and unauthorized use clause is what he's just doing right now. And the new program, each person will receive this. It, it, I cannot, my hope is to have it done by the end of the year, but I, it will not be possible because we were still polishing up some other things before we were completing this. Okay, like I said, these ideas, uh, putting these programs together have been years in the making. It's just finally putting it on paper and putting all the pieces together. We started this one, um, this particular program, I think it was 2020, 2020 when we ended the QPAC is when we started this program. But it's just getting around to putting the pieces together. And you have no idea how much I am so grateful for this piece of junk known as ChatGPT. Because that's what was slowing us down, is we had to do it all by hand and had to do all the independent research. And now it has cut everything in half. Where it would normally take me two straight years of working on the document, now it takes about four months. Okay? Okay? All right. Thank you all for joining, but this is the new program. Um, no, I, there were a couple of names that we settled on and I decided, no, those names just don't fit. So you guys just gonna have to wait. We're still talking about it as a company. We'll be discussing it again tomorrow. So have a good day. And there are so many different angles and aspects to this one that I can't begin to tell you right now. And thus, I can't give you no pricing or nothing like that because of all the different things that are being added. I. So everybody, y'all has a good day, and we will, okay, just as long as he crafted the language, you know, because nobody likes cheese that much. Take, 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 take care. Goodbye, everyone.